So what we have here is the new D&D Dungeon Master Screen Wilderness Kit, which somehow Wizards of the Coast has managed to get out on time, unlike the Tasha's uh, new rule book that they've done. So let's open up and see what we've got inside. We have a DM screen. I love the art. Let's look at all the sides. This is what you expect from wizards. Let's look what tables we've got here. So we have reminders about jumps, suffocating concentration, exhaustion, setting the difficulty class, tracking difficulties, damage, hit points for objects and armor classes, skills and associated abilities, always handy to have. Conditions, which continue over here. Then we look at weather. And we have other useful tables like for travel, cover, how far sounds can be heard. Just a bit more focused than the general table, uh, DM screen. Oh, what do we have here? So we have a sheet that's given us some guidelines for wilderness journeys and how to play through them. And some useful tables to roll against. And these all have that, um, I assume they're dry wipeable or at least wet, wet pens. And what do they say? Dry arrays, so yes, dry arrays. Uh, we have a supply tracker, hex map, how to run chases in the wilderness, which is really handy because that's something I've been looking at recently. More hex maps, actions in combat. I like the fact we've got quite a few sheets for hex and some cards with statuses on them. Initiative, I do like that. Using the art from the screen for the initiative cards and a lovely little card box to put them all in. Yeah, not bad. I quite like that. I do like these dry erase board sheets with rules reference on them. Wilderness chasers, I particularly like that summary, I've um, been looking into chasers for D&D &D and for other game systems as well. So, yeah, I, I'm really chuffed with that one.